When John Basso first opened the Heart Attack Grill, he had no idea that serving the world's unhealthiest menu would come with so much controversy. Countless lawsuits, an avalanche of bad press, and multiple heart attacks on the premises. Prior to opening the Heart Attack Grill in 2005, Basso owned three different exercise gyms over a 12-year period where he'd advise clients on their dietary and exercise needs, as well as on techniques of caloric reduction. However, he felt this was an untruthful line of work, stating, it's disgusting because you're promising people things that are outside their genetic possibility. Instead of being a slimy, crooked, dishonest peddler of health and fitness services, I would actually launch a hamburger concept that would be absolutely honest, and that's the only guiding principle. Hey, this is bad for you, and it's gonna kill you. The first heart attack grill in Arizona featured a front door sign reading, Caution, this establishment is bad for your health, before they'd later add cash only because you might die before the check clears. Inside, they'd proudly display the catchphrase, taste worth dying for. However, the most insane piece of signage was without a doubt this reading, anyone over 350 pounds eats for free all day every day unlimited, with the only rules being no taking food to go, no sharing with others and does not include beverages, although this wasn't the only unlimited service offered by the restaurant. Instead of a salad bar, there's an all-you-can-eat flatliner fries bar. To serve the free meals, Basso took a tip from Hooters by hiring a bunch of sexy nurses, with a theme of honesty also extending into the job application process, with questions such as whether the applicant has an in or outy belly button, who would they have a hot one night stand with, their opinion on certain conspiracy theories, and a comment stating, no one gives a damn about your academic achievements, but if you want to bore us with them, go right ahead. As the head of the restaurant, John spends every day dressed as a doctor, stating, we promote nicotine, alcohol, caffeine, fat, cholesterol, sodium, all the building blocks of a quality, healthy, good time, with these insane statements leading to his first appearance on a local news station. There is a restaurant in Tempe where the food is so rich they call their big burger the quadruple bypass. Not everybody thinks that's funny, least of all the Arizona Board of Nursing. The news story then stated that the American Nursing Board had received five or six complaints about them calling their waitresses nurses. However, five or six complaints was a small price to pay given the story was basically free advertising. All right, so if you want to bypass, of course, the good kind, now you know where to go. It's called the Heart Attack Grill. This then turned into further news coverage, where John explained the other ways in which the restaurant might kill you. We don't do Diet Coke. We don't do light beers. We don't even provide lettuce on our burgers. With the unique approach beating all of their competitors. John, this is creating a firestorm. I have a feeling this is just what you wanted. Well, I can't say that I don't enjoy the publicity. It definitely does pack the seats in the restaurant. We've been so lucky as of recently, our web traffic exceeds McDonald's.com. After noticing that media stories help the business grow, that attempt to set the Guinness World Record for the world's unhealthiest burger, achieving such with the 9,982 calorie quadruple bypass burger, although this gluttonous piece of food would be served with a side of tragedy. The Heart Attack Grill had introduced a spokesperson named Blair River, who at 6'8", 570 pounds, appeared in all of the restaurant's ads. I'm up another few inches. Who needs these old pants? I could eat for free. In a 2011 news report, Blair talked about feeling incredibly healthy. This is good stuff. Everyone should be modern size like myself. However, he passed away before the interview even aired. Sadly, we now know how long that was. Blair died last week at the age of 29. His family says the cause of death was pneumonia. Even in death, the Heart Attack Grill maintained their brutally honest branding. Had he have been thinner, he most probably would have survived that pneumonia. Aren't you glorifying obesity, which Ab obviously kills. Absolutely. With Basso taking this even further in a different interview. If they do die here, I'm not going to lie to you. That's great for business. I'll say it again. Death is great for business at the Heart Attack Grill. Although the media's goal of discrediting the founder only did the opposite. It's actually refreshing to see someone so painfully honest. The owner is great, he makes no apologies nor should he. You can't blame him for people doing this to themselves. It's impossible to hate this guy because he's being 100% honest. In a different interview, Basso showed his more compassionate side by stating, cynical people might think this, Riva's death is funny, but people who knew him are crying their eyes out. There is a lot of mourning going on around here. You couldn't have found a better person 
person. Even if he was skinny, we would have given him the job. We would have just put a fat suit on him. He just had personality, as did the restaurant's next spokesperson, Ernie Hart, who wouldn't last long either, although for a slightly different reason. In October 2011, Basso moved the restaurant to the land of indulgence, pleasure, and poor short-term choices, Las Vegas. The new and improved restaurant featured a public electronic cattle scale, as well as new signage reading fighting anorexia since 2005 and send hate mail to followed by their address. The new location also led to a brand new slogan, remember the calories you eat in Vegas stay in Vegas, as well as an instant increase in business. We've both doubled in terms of money, in terms of square footage. However, the craziest change was without a doubt their menu. Despite their quadruple bypass already holding the record for the highest calorie burger, the Heart Attack Grill then doubled their invention, creating the Octuple Bypass Burger, which featured eight patties, 40 pieces of bacon, and 19,900 calories. At around the same point in time, the Heart Attack Grill updated their website to include free video and images for the press, where the motivation for the Octuple Bypass Burger became pretty obvious. They were trying to generate media attention, and this is exactly what they got. The new burger led to over 100 million views worth of exposure on YouTube, as different content creators visited the restaurant to see if they could eat it. Those who could, such as Matt Stoney, were given a ride out of the restaurant in a novelty wheelchair, although there were others who were forced to leave in an ambulance. A customer at the Heart Attack Grill was rushed to the hospital after eating a sandwich called the Triple Bypass Burger. In February 2012, an article was published titled, Man Has Heart Attack While Eating at the Heart Attack Grill, which is followed by another article only two months later reading, Heart Attack Grill lives up to its name again this week when a woman collapsed in their Las Vegas restaurant. This marks the second person to fall victim to their horrifically caloric food in less than a year, with the Heart Attack Grill responding in the most brand appropriate way, by bragging about it on their website. Two ambulance departures in less than 60 days left an indelible mark on the Heart Attack Grill's public image. Dr. John delivered a clear message to the media that such tragedies shall inevitably continue due to having clientele which he refers to as being the avant-garde of nutritional risk takers. Did that heart attack pad my wallet with money? Absolutely. Did I enjoy that? Absolutely. Although this is still nothing compared to what would happen one year later. The Heart Attack Grill had a new unofficial spokesperson named John Elliman, who was recognized as the restaurant's most loyal customer. He never missed a day, even on Christmas, Basso said. People just loved him. He connected with people in a real way, although all of this changed on the 11th of February 2013. After chowing down on his daily feed at the grill, John Elliman suffered a heart attack and died while waiting for the bus at the front of the store. This led to Basso's craziest PR stunt to date. They'll say it's grotesque. They'll yes, say, how, they will. how can you keep the man's cremation here? With Basso keeping the cremation inside the restaurant as he wants you to know his food kills so that maybe you'll stop eating junk. This man is willing to sacrifice his reputation and maybe even his humanity to try and make the world a healthier place. I respect him for it. Basso believes the restaurant helps customers to reflect on their own choices, having stated anybody who's over 350 pounds gets on that scale. We applaud them like the big sumo wrestler they are, treat them like a champ, make them feel good for that moment, give them free food all they want. But these people go home at night and they ponder that and say, wow, why did I just get free food and have the whole restaurant applauding for me? Because I'm a freak, plain and simple, before adding, I'm running an obesity intervention and I think it works. I really do. Everybody should check out our Facebook and see a lot of people say, hey, Dr. John, I've lost 82 pounds since the last time I was in. It's the X factor, something that snapped in that person that said, wow, I'm going to make a change in my life and they did and that's fabulous, with this sentiment also showing up in the YouTube comments. The Heart Attack Grill restaurant has motivated me to take care of myself, stick to my diet. The namesake restaurant actually sends a very positive message. If you don't take care of yourself today, you might find yourself eating a free meal at my restaurant in the not so distant future because everyone over 350 pounds eats for free and therefore Basso believes the restaurant is an overall positive. I am a believer that when people hear my message, the net health benefit to society is incredible. Incredibly good. However, you won't be surprised to hear that not everybody agrees. He's deliberately trying to get people to eat more than they need. With this being echoed by the legendary Anthony Bourdain who stated, There is a restaurant in Vegas, I think it's called the Heart Attack Grill, where if you're over 350 pounds you eat for free. I think that should be pretty much a war crime. On top of this, a former waitress went public talking about her terrible time working at the restaurant, explaining that after a man passed out mid-meal, a manager made me take out my cell phone to record a video of the whole thing 
something so they could send it to the media. It was on a Friday afternoon and he hoped it would make the news so they could have a busy weekend. On the opposite end of the spectrum, a different waitress stated this. I've been here 11 years. <laughs> I, 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 I enjoy this. So the experience clearly depends on which person you ask. In a different instance, the PCRM sent a letter to Basso asking him to declare moral bankruptcy and close the heart attack grill. However, given the restaurant earned five and a half million in revenue last year, it seems obvious that Dr. John Basso and the heart attack grill won't be going anywhere anytime soon.